Seamus gel is a delicious and nutritious superfood that has quickly become popular among vegan and plant-based food enthusiasts. It is versatile, nutrient-dense, and can be used in many different recipes so you can reap all its potential health benefits. From aiding digestion to improving the texture of your skin, it is also believed that Seamus contains 92 out of the 102 essential minerals your body needs. There are three steps to making Seamus gel, but first you need raw Seamus, spring water, and a lemon or lime. Making Seamus gel is surprisingly quick and easy. Step 1. Rinsing and cleaning your Seamus. For this Seamus gel, I used about 50 grams of raw Irish Seamus I got from a local shop, but you can always get yours from Amazon no matter where you live. Now place your Seamus in a strainer under the tap so you can gently remove all the dirt and debris in the Seamus. Seamus comes from the ocean and harvesting it is not the cleanest of processes so it comes with some sea debris. During the cleaning phase, put all your cleaned Seamus into a large bowl. Use a bowl that's big enough so you can use it to soak your Seamus after cleaning it. I recommend you actually take your time when cleaning your Seamus in order to remove all the dirt and particles like these ones. So spend about 10 minutes thoroughly cleaning your Seamus and show it some love by massaging it gently as you rinse. I've noticed this cleaning process is probably the longest when making Seamus gel, but it's absolutely necessary if you want the best gel for eating and using as a skincare treatment. If you want to know how I use this Seamus gel as a skincare treatment, tell me in the comment below. Once you're satisfied with how clean your Seamus is, place it aside ready to be soaked. Step 2. Soaking your Seamus. For this soaking phase, use only spring water to soak your Seamus and make sure to use a large bowl because the Seamus will expand the longer it's in water. I used about 2 liters of cool spring water initially. Irish Seamus actually expands up to 3 times its size when soaked, so make sure you use enough water to soak it. Now, cut half a lemon and squeeze half of it into the soaked Seamus and put the other half in the fridge. You'll need it later for the next step. You can actually leave your lemon to soak with the Seamus as well. Pop a lid on the bowl and cover it and soak your Seamus for a minimum of 4 hours. I soaked mine for 12 hours but you can actually soak yours overnight if you want. In my experience, you should soak the Seamus for longer than 4 hours because it will be completely hydrated. And make sure to check on it every few hours to see if you need to add more water. So after 2 hours, I added 500ml of water. Still, I used spring water. Remember, don't use tap water to soak your Seamus. This is why you need to use a big enough bowl during this process of making your Seamus gel. 12 hours later. The Seamus is now completely hydrated after soaking it for exactly 12 hours. Look at the before and after of the Seamus. You can see the difference in texture and size. Now strain your Seamus and use this time to also remove any debris that might be left on the Seamus. Then get rid of the water and now it's time to blend your Seamus into a gel. Step 3. Blending your Seamus When blending your Seamus, you don't want to use too much water and ruin the texture. I think a good Seamus gel should have a thick consistency. So for this recipe, I blended the whole 50 grams of soaked Irish Seamus with the other half of the lemon that I kept in the fridge and 500 millimeter of cool spring water. Pour your Seamus into the blender, add in your lemon juice and 500 millimeter of cool spring water and blend until you are satisfied with the texture.
So after blending the CMOS once, I wasn't happy with the texture because there's still so much chunky bits left. So I blended it one more time. And now I'm happy with the consistency of my CMOS gel. So I didn't add any more water. But if yours is too thick, feel free to add a little bit of water and blend again. Once it's all done and you're happy with it, get it out of your blender and I mean it, don't leave any CMOS in your blender. I mean it, it's yours and you deserve all of it. Your hard work has finally paid off. Now pour your CMOS gel out into a glass container with a lid. I'm using these work jars that I got from Amazon. They are airtight and great for storing CMOS gel. Congratulations! You now have fresh, homemade CMOS gel. The final and last step is to let your CMOS gel sit on the kitchen counter for an hour before you refrigerate it. This CMOS recipe, using the same ingredients, makes two servings of CMOS gel and one container will last up to 7 to 10 days in the fridge. I kept the other container in the freezer for when I finished the first one. It will last even longer in the freezer for up to three months, but I'll pop it in the fridge when I need it. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is how you make CMOS gel in three easy steps. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe to my channel if you've learned anything from it. Take care and God bless.